I decided I was going to try and tackle the corner trim. It's kind of getting me kind of concerned. I, I really wanted to do this and I bought this corner trim and when I got it in, it just seemed like it was just going to be too much to try and bend into the right shape. As you can see on the camper here, there's some pretty good turns and bends right here and again right in here. Um, so my concern was that I was going to start trying to bend this and it would just turn into a nightmare and kink up. And But what I realized is I have the old pieces that came off of here and before I go and experiment with this brand new piece, which is I think $30 a piece for an eight foot section, so it's not cheap and I don't want to make, make a big mistake here and mess it up. I realized I had some of the old stuff laying around that I pulled off. So I thought, well, why not just fool around with it a little bit and see if I would be able to bend it into the shape. I got nothing to lose. It was just some junk pieces that uh, were gonna end up in the trash anyway. So I thought, well, let's give it a shot and see, play around with it a little bit. And so I was able to actually make the two bends. I just took some little sections just to see what would happen. And they actually came out pretty good. I was pretty happy. Uh, that's the uh, inside corner. This is the outside corner right here. So, you know, this piece here is pretty beat up and rough. It was from the start, I, it was all mutilated when I took it off. But the fact that I was able to get it into the shape I needed without any major kinks, it encouraged me, emboldened me enough, I guess you'd say, to um, give it a try with the new stuff. And I did that this morning. I ended up uh, putting on the first piece, and I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, you can see here, I got the new piece on, and you can see it starts right up here. I made that first bend, came down here, this bend, and it ends right here, eight foot section. So I got this inside corner to do next, and then a few more pieces down below. I'm not. I guess I'm going to have to buy another piece because uh, I'm, I'm not going to have enough to get this bottom section done. I've ordered three pieces. I think I need four. I bought it off of uh, eBay and uh, it was $45 to ship. So whether you bought one piece or five pieces, I think, you know, whatever you needed, it was going to be $45 to ship it out. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to pay another $45 probably to get another one more piece. Maybe I'll buy a couple just in case but um, I am you know I'll definitely have to get some more to finish it off at some point here and but for today uh, if I can get I'll be able to get I got this piece on I'll definitely be able to get this corner done up to here I'm not sure if I'll be have enough to do these two sections here and here but if I can get this corner done all the way down to here I'd be really happy and, and that would be a, a great step in the right direction as far as finishing this project. So now I'm, I've got this side, as I said, I got this side done and I'm working on getting this side done. So I just want to kind of show you what I'm kind of doing here. And I contacted the seller that I bought this material from and they, I asked them if there were any videos or instructions as far as how to go ahead bending this. Um, and I had done a bunch of research. I was going to head down to Harbor Freight and buy a stretcher shrinker tool that uh, allows you to bend metal I'm, I'm still gonna probably pick one up because I'm gonna use it in the future but for today what I did is uh, what their suggestion was the seller was basically you, you screw it on and then start bending basically so for example there's a hole here I would screw um, screw this down and then just gently start they say to take a mallet, soft mallet, and a rubber mallet, and just between the bending and the hammering, you should be able to get it into shape. Now, that may be true. I'm not the expert on this, and this isn't a how-to video, obviously. It's just, just me trying to figure out how to do this without messing it up. But I do enjoy working with metal, and I do enjoy bending it, so I'm, I'm, I was up for the challenge. So what I did is I came up with this little jig I made and this little jig here basically let me show you how it works i've started the bend on this one here you can see this one's kind of 
almost there. I got a little more to go. Just got to bend this down a little bit more on the top part here. So let me show you how I'm doing this. I'll try to do this just with one hand here. Basically what I'm doing, is I got this little jig that I made. And what I'm doing is I'm basically putting this in here. I put this little piece of wood in there to give it a little bit of support. And that basically allows me to It doesn't take much pressure, just a little bit at a time. Just kind of pull it. Basically just uh, slide it in here. Just kind of bend it down a little bit at a time. You don't want to do a whole lot. You want to be real careful. It bends really easy. It is aluminum. And it does kink easily. So... That's basically the jig I'm using. Let me see how this. You can see we get a little bit closer there. Actually, it's not bad at all. I kind of go to the, the inside. And if you go to the inside, you can see it's, uh, so I'm gonna swing this around. This is hard to film, I apologize, but you can see it's, it's it fits pretty well right in here so to me that's uh, that's pretty much perfect right there I'm gonna uh, it's kind of how I did the other side so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'll put a screw in here to kind of hold it in place and then I will work my way down to this corner over here and before I screw it all in place I got to put the I think it's butane butane tape a little, some great tape that goes on the inside to help seal the screws because once you screw th through this material here obviously you're opening up potential of a, a leak so although i've got it very well sealed up um, so basically i'm just going to um, put a screw in here to hold it temporarily while i work my way down to this corner here make that bend and it doesn't go all the way to the other corner so i'm not too worried about that uh, this is the main outside corner and if I can get it anywhere half as good as the other side, I'd be really happy. This is coming out it's a lot better than I thought. I was kind of discouraged that I wasn't going to be able to do this. but So anyway, uh, I'm going to uh, keep working on this. I'll show you my progress as I go through it. All right. So I basically just drilled the second hole up on top here, hold it in place temporarily until I get uh, the bend on the lower. But I can just wanted to show you that it's really nice tight connection for the most part I mean I don't have it screwed down so there's gonna be a little gap plus there's gonna be some cock that goes in there but uh, for the most part yeah that kind of holds it in place and now what I'll do is I'll come down to this end and I'll start making my bend down here probably put another screw somewhere in here I don't want to make my bend down and then find out that I start putting my screws in up here and then it pushes the whole thing down and my bend is in the wrong place so I'll probably put another screw or two just to make sure it's held in place and uh, I'll go ahead and start making my bend all right so now I've got I've got a few screws holding it on one at the top one in the middle and one just before my bend so basically at this point I'm just going to start gently bending it this is going to want to kink out right here where it bends and what I'll do is I'll come I have a dead blow mallet hammer that I'm going to use and I'm just going to, as I bend it, I'm just going to keep beating this corner as it pops out. It's going to want to pop out as it folds and um, I'm going to try and make sure that that stays in as I make this, make this turn so I can make it nice and tight. I'll try to show you as best I can. I need two hands for this, but let me see what I can do here. All right, so I'm going to set up my camera here. i got a camera stand. And uh, we're going to get the second corner bent. Just slowly and gently apply pressure. You don't want to go too fast because you don't want to kink it.
You can see where it's starting to bulge. You might not see it on the camera, but right here I can see it's starting to starting to bulge out a little bit. So I'm just going to tap it. And then keep pushing as I do. basically wanted to show how I was bending this. This one came out pretty nice. It's uh, nice and tight on the inside seam here once I screw that all down. And uh, that'll take care of my front nose pieces. And then from there I'll work on the inside corners over here. I'll get the butane, uh, buf the tape, special tape that goes under here, I'll get that put on and then uh, screw that down and should be good.